Yo, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to this video. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, use the new script AI uh, to make uh, traffic crashes or stuff like that in VM and G Drive. The new version, which is the uh, 0.30, and this is something that has released that is new, but I haven't seen anybody really comment on this. So we're gonna check it out. In order to use this, is uh, very simple. You have to press F11 to open the world editor. And when you open this, you are gonna see this window. So you're gonna go up here and press the script AI editor. Basically, this opens this window. And as you can see here, you have like a slider uh, with time and stuff. And a couple of windows that you can open. This opens the vehicles window in the current scene. This opens the trajectories. There is none right now. And the camera window. Okay. This is uh, to make camera trajectories. In order to make a trajectory, a new trajectory, you go to the scene trajectories and press this pencil button. We press it. And as you can see in the cursor, there's now a, a red uh, circle or a sphere that you can move around and, and add points to the map. Okay. If you open the window and you cannot move, you want to press Shift and C. So it's probably locked like this. So you press Shift and C and it's going to be free mode. You can move around and place points in the map. So I'm going to do some uh, random trajectory okay so I'm gonna press here 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 when you have placed all the points you are gonna press here and now you have a trajectory but it's not assigned to any car in order to assign the trajectory to a vehicle as you can see here a status is not assigned to any vehicle so we're gonna press first off if you have a lot of vehicles you have to press the the current vehicle okay so you're gonna press here and attach it there you go and now i'm gonna add another car press f11 to exit the menu and add a new car and we're gonna do the same we're gonna press f11 free mode again like you press shift C and the camera is free we're gonna go to the pencil create a new one create a new trajectory and now as you can see they are not lining up but we can fix that First off, you're gonna assign the trajectory to the new vehicle and you're gonna select it here on the scene vehicles. Select the new car and attach it like this. Now uh, let's try to line them up, okay? Mm -hmm. You can move uh, some points or I think you can also change the time if I'm not mistaken. For example, uh, yeah, you can make it slower or quicker. Okay, more or less, I'm gonna move a little bit backwards, like here. Okay, I think they should crash now. When you have the trajectory is created, as you can see up here, there is a button that says execute a, a scenario. And if you press it, both cars, you can disable this, you can see both cars moving. That crash was super slow. <laughs> Let's try to make it a little bit faster. So for example, this car is going 70, maybe. And the second one is going to go like... Thirty-five. Okay, let's try this. Okay, 
Okay. So you can see that was a little bit better. It's a, not the best thing in the world, but it kind of gives the idea. Yeah, so in order to record your videos, first of all, you're going to pause the game. I'm gonna press a start on my keyboard, my controller. And now the game is paused. And we're gonna press execute the scenario. As you can see, nothing is happening. Apart from this that you can hide. So nothing has happened. So now you're gonna press F11 to close the uh, world editor. And as you can see, the game is paused. And what you can do is go to the photo mode. We're gonna press Alt and U to hide the UI. And we're gonna unpause the game. Now holding uh, a right click, we can move the camera smoothly and capture the crash, hopefully. This was the tutorial for the new trajectory stuff. I hope the tutorial was helpful <laughs> and sorry if I made any mistakes. So yeah, I hope you like it and it's useful for you. Bye bye.